Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, it's time to put in this uh, electric wall heater here. It's the King Picawatt. Uh, I believe it's 4500 watts. Uh, model P LPW2445. Um, it's gotten fairly decent reviews online and even according to some of those it's decently efficient although you know I don't know it's, it's electric heat so you get what you get and it's what I can put down here in the basement so we're gonna open this up and install it and here it is out of the box here everything looks okay and undamaged now I did not actually get this online although I think you can get these online um, in fact I know you can I actually went to a local store here, it wasn't Lowe's or Home Depot, it was actually uh, Ziggy's um, that's down the road from, from me here and I try and go to them as often as I can. They have, uh, sometimes their prices do beat the big box stores and they're a little bit smaller known, but anyhow, we're going to stick it right here, right down below where I said I want to stick it. Now to do this, I may actually end up having to move this wiring it's actually a little bigger than I thought it was going to be so uh, we'll have to see. It has to be so far off the ground and uh, I don't know how close to the wiring it can be. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually go in here, grab out the instructions and start reading through them, see what they say. Well, I've read the instructions and I have decided kind of where and how I'm going to do this for sure and I definitely am going to have to move these wires here because even trying I need to put the pan in here and these screws I will say I'm going to say something this is actually made in Seattle supposedly it says Seattle Washington here uh, so it's supposed to be American at least company I don't know how much is made in America, an American company. Oh, something else I just saw. I was looking, I was supposed to have some hardware. I don't know. These are the the knobs down in here. So far I haven't found the hardware. I'm hoping there's hardware somewhere in here. I might need to look in the box. Anyway, all these screws are in here. And this one is looks like it's kind of cocked and halfway out. So um, and I will say there is a bit of a dent right here, but nothing that, uh, you know, can't fix or anything like that. But I think I'm going to, yeah, i got to undo all these and pull this off so that I can get this box mounted in the wall here. So, um, I just realized these are not Phillips head either. Well, it looks like a Phillips will work though. So, so they have the square head and the Phillips it appears so anyway I think I just need to do the four and this will come out carefully okay there's no wires hooked to that so it's just the box now we're going to take this set it to the side I'm going to turn this upside down and set it on here. Hopefully it keeps them safe. Well, I didn't see any more hardware anywhere, so we're going to go with it. And I'm mounting this flush. It's supposed to be a minimum of 10 inches off the ground for this one. You'll have to read for yours if you get one that's different. It could be a different minimum than maximum. Now, I need to also set this out about a half inch because this edge here needs to be flush with whatever you're going to use for your uh, sheetrock. Um, now if you're putting this in sheetrock, you know, obviously I have to cut the hole and do the wiring in that, but basically everything else is the same. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I don't see that it has any real markings at a half inch, I am going to go ahead with my tape measure and I now it says this pin. way it needs to be up so and I know I'm gonna put it on am I gonna put on yeah I'm gonna put it on this side here and I'm gonna take my tape measure here and I'm going to mark one half inch whoa put the so somewhere in there and 
somewhere in there and that should get me in the ballpark of where I need to be if I stick it out about that far from the edge like that and then I'm going to screw it in Moving quite a bit. Make sure I'm above that 10, 10 inch mark there. And put it there. It's easier said than done here. That was good. And I'm getting this as close to the middle of that hole as I can. It can come down a little bit, but I don't want it to go too far. our 10 inch mark there. Another screw here. And I got my mark down on the bottom. We'll find that. And screw that in there. I'll be honest, I'm just using sheetrock screws here. I have a couple of longer ones. Let's see what that I don't want that to stick through, so I'm just gonna. There's six holes. Oh, I'm gonna fill all. We ran the wiring. Ran the wiring. It's going up through here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but for some reason when I ran it, I just put it through the hole over here. I know they're glaring you, but there's a hole behind that light. And I'm gonna have to drill through this stuff and go over top of some of this stuff and around. So once I figure out exactly you know pull this somewhat tight all the way down here bring it down i will cut it and then i'm going to actually have to run it that way through all this stuff here but uh hindsight and like i say uh, my mistakes my and i got it all the way up. back here and if you listen to nothing else about my wearing tips don't forget to mark your wires at the end because you get them all ran here and like this one's not as big a deal because an orange one I'm only going to have like maybe four of these orange ones, but I want to know which one it is when I get here. Um, that way when I hook it in the panel, even though all the orange ones are going in the same type of deal and it doesn't really matter, but I can mark it on here when I'm all said and done so that I know which ones are going where. But it's a very good practice to mark the ends of all your wires because you'll run all your wires, you'll have them here, and, and then you'll have to figure out which ones are going where in a big bundle of stuff like that and that's kind of difficult to do. We got our wire so, in. We're gonna put it in this box. Now there's a pop out here, a pop out back here, and a pop out up here. This is the one I'm going for because it's the easiest one. A lot of times you can stick your screwdriver in these things and it should pop out and get from the inside here. Yeah, uh, of course, as usual, when you're filming, it ends up being more difficult than it should be. A tab here and a tab here. This one's already broke, kind of. This is not the way to do it. There we go. Those are really on there. So, yet again, I dented the box a little bit there. Kind of figured I would. Just like a dollar, dollar, hammer and dolly here. You get to see some body work. Alright, and in the top of the box, we need to put one of these here. And it's just a cable holder. Basically, keeps you from yanking your cables out of the box here. And I like to take these tabs hold these in and give them a little bit of a wrap with a hammer if I can get to it here. It just kind of tightens it up a little bit better. Alright. 
then let's see here I'm gonna bring this down across and down in there and those wires are right here so I don't need to have a whole bunch but I'm gonna give myself a little bit more than I think I need Quite honestly, I'm not exactly sure where I left off last time, but we got the power to the box here. Although there's no power actually running to the box yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Something I didn't think about, I didn't put the ear in this one. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful in uh, how much I strip off of here for now. So I'm just going to take off, you know, yay much for now and uh, that should give me more than enough there's pretty good sized pigtails on this heater as it is and I've done a lot of wiring stuff so go check out those videos I got everything from the plugs Notice I have a little bit more light here now. We've got these plugs working too. Uh, I'm going to do some stuff inside the actual fuse panel. Um, I wired in plugs, done wiring runs a couple different times. So I have several different things on uh, electrical stuff. Yet again, I am no expert, so uh, do your own research. Now I've got those open up there I'm gonna go ahead and strip the ends of them off um, looks pretty simple to wire up here um, first got to do the ground that's the first thing I'm gonna do and it appears that there is no actual ground on the the heater part it grounds through the box so Make sure you do this part. Now I've hooked up my ground wire with just a wire nut. Once again, you need to know if there's any specific rules or regulations about what wire nuts you use and how you hook things up. Now I'm going to set the bottom of this in here and hold her up with my knee. And you got a white and a black coming out. Um, you may be able to get wires that have both black um, but from what I can tell it doesn't really matter which one of these goes to which one of these uh, both of these have 120 volts there's 120 volts here 120 volts coming out here obviously it's not hooked to anything right now but there will be 120 volts here and 120 volts here so all said and done we'll have 240 volts going into this switch now for some reason I'm wrong about that you'll know when I know but for right now, I've stripped these, and I'm just going to take my wire nuts and wire nut everything together. It's a fairly simple install, I've got to say, as far as heater and electrical stuff goes. Alright, and after that, I would go ahead personally and tape those up with some electrical tape, but this is for kind of testing purposes here what I'm doing right now um, there's going to be a few more things that I'm going to do later down the road so this will probably come out again at some point uh, fairly soon now this does have like a this in here it has kind of like a metal shroud above this heat fan here so you got to get these wires kind of pushed up out of the way here and like I said I'm leaving these a little bit long in this box when I go to finish it I will probably yeah, come on now when I go to finish it I will be taking some of this stuff the length of these wires out there we go now when I took off these screws from this I stuck them in one of these corner pieces here for that 
specific reason. Usually it takes me a little while to get back to things. Holy cow! Yet again, I make everything seem harder than it actually is. Try and get this one in first. I think this was a little bit bent up in shipping. Well, as you notice, that one was kind of boogered up there a little bit, and uh, I had to go get a new tip for my drill to get that one to go in there. But we're good now. It's all in there. Everything seems to be working the way it should. There's no power going to it. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and hook this thing up to the panel. Like I said, I'm going to have a different video on that. Um, that one's going to be in entertainment purposes only video because you unless you really do know what you're doing you shouldn't be messing around in a box but if you can do this part super simple get everything all hooked up run your wires all the way back to that box and save yourself quite a bit of money well switch is on I don't see any smoke or flames or anything else happening here so that's a good sign <coughs> excuse me now I turned this all the way down as low as it would go and I made sure it was on off. I checked my panel here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, it should be, the first one should be just fan. I don't have the sw switches on it yet but there we go. Fan is working. I will say the fan seems like it is shifted over this way a little bit. So I may have to mess with this a little bit and make sure everything's not too bent. But let's go to heat. It's kind of nice that you can have just the fan, it appears, with this one. So in the summer, they can throw the fan on here and uh, not have too much, not be spending power on heat, and it'll let some. Fresh air flow. Okay, I just heard it click on, which means it's, I don't know, a safety light oh, right here. And so far, it hasn't come on. Alright, I have no idea. You probably noticed it, but I didn't. I actually accidentally uh, turned this off instead of on heat. So there's fan. There's heat. And we have heat coming. I can feel it now. Now it does say it comes shipped with some sort of oils and things that are uh, for protection or whatever but it says that it's not harmful and that it may smoke for a little while but and crack a window which right now I don't really have a window down here so we're gonna just let this kind of burn off a little bit down here I do kind of smell it but it's not totally obnoxious right now anyways okay it will set off your alarm though Alright, well now I took care of the smoke alarm. I don't see any actual smoke, so I don't know if it was just cold down here and it just felt the difference in heat already. I'm actually feeling it already down here and this is there's no insulation or anything yet. Well, there it is in all its glory all put together. Uh, you just put the top on, throw screws in, put your caps on here. It's not a difficult thing to do, but it's yet again the Picawatt King, uh, I believe 4500 watts is the max, and it does appear that you can switch things around and make it 
more or less wattage wise and like I said I'm using it with the 240 and full on the way it came I'm very happy that it has just like a fan that, that I didn't realize that it seems to be actually keeping it fairly warm in here I don't know how accurate this is but according to that in this area is 65 degrees which is probably pretty close right here the problem is is across the way it probably isn't even close to that because the thermostats right there so but it does seem to shut off and turn on uh, by itself everything seems to be working right now um, yet again you'll probably see some more videos on this or see this later in videos and uh, I may mention uh, how well it's doing or not we'll see uh, right now I'm happy with it I do at one point hope to maybe have a separate thermostat on it because this probably isn't you know real accurate being as it's right next to the heater I do have my window open I actually have a little window up here that I can open up and I went ahead and and uh, took some stuff off of that, some insulation over it, but I went ahead and took that off and opened up the window because it is getting a little bit stinky down here. I haven't really noticed smoke. I was kind of really surprised when the smoke alarm went off, but regardless, so far I'm happy. Yet again, you'll see it again probably somewhere down the road. All right, this is Sam, Jack of All, Master None. You all have a good one.